Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about my Robinhood portfolio, currently at $216,906, cash position of $17,300. I also have another $30,000 in a high yield savings account, so I can easily deploy into the market when there are opportunities to buy. Most of my portfolio is in U.S. equities, and the market has been very volatile due to all the uncertainty. Taking a look at my recent buys into the market, filter by orders. So I bought United Health at $229, Facebook at $153, Visa at $152, Apple $241. PayPal, $96. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company at $48 per share, but I bought two of them. Also, Vanguard S&P 500 at $232. Facebook at $156, and I bought two shares, so that's $312. PepsiCo, I bought three shares each at $113, so that's $339. 3M, I bought two shares at $128. Johnson & Johnson, bought one share for $119. Vanguard S&P 500, bought one share for $204. And that's all for the past two weeks. Taking a look at my portfolio, scroll down a bit. It's my largest position, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. This makes up 16.52% portfolio or $35,827. Currently down 8.49%. Vanguard Information Technology ETF. It's very good exposure to tech sector. Makes up 6.26% portfolio or $13,568. I'm currently up 48.06%. Schwab Large Cap ETF. Makes a 4.45% portfolio or $9,648, up 1.32%. iShares Core S&P 500 makes a 1.03% portfolio or $2,241, up 16.55%. Spider S&P 500 ETF makes a 0.91% portfolio or $1,983, or $1,983, up 16.77%. Apple is my largest stock position, makes up 6.12% portfolio or $13,269, up 48.71%. Microsoft makes a 5.1% portfolio or $11,060, up 74.37%. Alibaba makes up 4.99% portfolio or $10,834, up 11.25%. Visa makes up 0.42% for my portfolio or 9,114, up 37.51%. NVIDIA makes a 4.03% portfolio or 8,739, up 29.69%. Johnson & Johnson makes a 3.58% portfolio or $7,772, up 3.45%. Alphabet Class A shares, this is with voting rights, makes a 2.01% portfolio or $4,360, up 6%. Alphabet Class C shares, makes a 1.52% portfolio or $3,294, up 10.17%. Amazon, makes a 3.51% portfolio or $7,608, up 60.24%. Tencent is my exposure to the Asia Pacific. Uh, as well as Alibaba, makes a 3.36% portfolio or $7,277, up 10.94%. Facebook makes a 2.41% portfolio or $5,222, down 7.73%. McDonald's makes up 2.21% portfolio or $4,792, down 0.62%. United Health makes a 2.01% portfolio or 
up 32.58%. AT&T makes a 1.8% portfolio or $3,893, down 24.33%. Costco makes a 1.73% portfolio or $3,752, down, this is up 19.83%. Boeing makes a 1.7% portfolio or $3,681, down 45.5%. Home Depot makes a 1.48% portfolio or $3,216, up 17.8%. Berkshire Hathaway makes a 1.48% portfolio or $3,202, down 3.81%. PepsiCo makes a 1.32% portfolio or $2,868, up 5.15%. 3M makes a 1.23% portfolio or $2,674, down 31.11%. PayPal makes up 1.02% portfolio or $2,214, up 20.55%. Next at our energy makes a 0.92% portfolio or $1,994 up 26%. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company makes up 0.59% portfolio or $1,270, up 7.19%. Activision Blizzard makes up 0.66% portfolio or $1,439, down 8%. So a lot of these positions I'm down on, but I plan to continue dollar cost averaging just because I think there's a lot of potential upside in the long term. So even though these positions may be down, uh, it's not preventing me from buying more shares. And I'm thinking long term, where once there's less uncertainty and the market rebounds, then I believe these positions would also uh, rebound as well. Baozun, this is the Shopify of China, makes a 0.53% portfolio or $1,144, down 29%. Baidu, just like the Google of China, makes a 0.49% portfolio, or $1,067, down 47%. Constellation Brands, makes a 0.18% portfolio, or $394, down 40%. Ichi, makes a 0.16%, or $340, down 43%. Vanguard Mega Value ETF makes a 0.65% or $1,413, down 3.59%. Vanguard Consumer Discretionary ETF makes a 0.69% portfolio, $1,498, up 10.23%. Vanguard Healthcare ETF makes a 0.67% portfolio or $1,459, up 25%. Vanguard Industrials ETF makes a 0.43% portfolio or $938, down 14.42%. So that's all my Robinhood portfolio. I plan to continue holding these stocks and ETFs and buying more stocks, preferably a good balance between dividend paying stocks and growth stocks. I also plan on increasing my cash position, which is currently at $17,000. And I have another... 30,000 in a high yield savings account so I can easily buy when there are opportunities to buy. That's all for this video. What's in your portfolio? Comment down below. Remember to use my referral links below and both of us get $20 for using personal capital or free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.